Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can quickly and easily create neon lights or light rods in your Unreal Engine level. Now of course we all know that cool neon lights are an awesome thing that so many people love to see in their games, animatics, cinematics and many other, let's call it either contemporary or cyberpunk dystopian content. Unreal Engine provides the ability to do the same, create those neon lights really quickly and easily. All of this is basically a play on the emissive material alternative. There is a YouTube video that I created on the same process that you can check out. But this, this video will show you how you can use the same process, basically the same process, to create really simple and quick neon lights. So before we create that material, we'll create the same mesh that will hold the material, which will be a cylinder that I'm dragging and dropping here as a static mesh. I'm going to enlarge it. Precisely, I'm going to make it thinner. Here it is. And I'm going to elongate it and move it about just a bit let's see uh, let's place it like this so it's taking up most of the space in this level so right now it's just a static mesh and here comes the fun part we're going to create a material that we're going to add to this mesh and turn it into a huge neon light or a neon rod to do that i'm going to right click and choose material i'm going to call it neon let's call it neon one and we're going to edit it by double clicking on it so you have your empty material editor right here and the thing we're looking for is emissive color now don't get confused with this because we're going to add both the color and intensity into a single node through a multiply node. So we're going to use three types of node, one three constant vector, constant three vector, a constant and a multiply. So let's first create a constant three vector. Here it is, constant three vector, where we're going to choose the color. So to do that, let's take something that is a bit more flavorful than a regular neon light which would be white basically let's take something that is greenish here and yeah let's keep it on the scale of something let's say something like this and yeah something here as well so it's going to be kind of a translucent, very pale gray, grayish green that is going to be the basic color of the same neon light. Again, don't get confused because the preview is not working. Unreal Engine for some reason takes a bit time to do that. The second thing we'll need is a regular constant node. As you can see, it's here. And we're going to combine these two because we want to feed both of them into emissive color with a multiply node. Here it is under matte multiply node. It's a simple A and B. And we're going to add it here and add it here and then feed it into emissive color. Now we have the basic setup and the same material is ready to be used, but we need to multiply uh, a bigger number here into the emissive color feed and that will be let's start with 100 or better yet let's start with 10 so it's a bit clearer so we have all of our setup ready to go we have our green color here and we all just need to save it let's dock this here course it's going to take a moment or two to save and when that happens we're going to dock it on the main page uh, here it is here is the preview as you can see it's glowing and 
yeah, let's put it like something like this. And now we're going to add the same neon color to the rod by simply dragging and dropping it here. And there you have it, the rod is glowing. Let's see it in the game. We have it, Some the light isn't built yet, so we have some interference and it's looking kind of weird-ish, uh, especially around with the walls and everything which are not that reflective. However, to get the full effect, we will need to build lights and to avoid these kind of, yeah, like strange interference from like CRT monitors or something like that. Uh, but the light is there, you can see reflections on my mannequin. So we have our neon light. But now let's do it with a different color and let's add more intensity to it. So for colors, again, double click. Let's go with something like red. We're going to go with a deeper tone here, here as well. And let's put up the intensity to 150, for example. Of course, you could always transform this from this node to be a variable uh, and to turn it into one. So, better said, to, to convert it into a parameter, which would then allow you to modify it easily in a material instances that you create from this basic emissive material. But I'm not going to do that for this video. I'm just going to keep it like this. Again, let's save and let's check it out in the game. The saving process, of course, like I said, takes a bit of time and it should result in a really bright and strong looking color. And something that is probably very familiar from cyberpunk games and dystopian games and many similar features of gaming and cinematics, of course, that use these neon lights. So there you have it, a simple way to create a neon light. It's a spin on the emissive color option. You can create one yourself with just these three nodes and then play around with colors and intensities. And of course, other features of the material as well, but these are the most basic ones. That's all for this Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video. Hopefully you found it useful. Hopefully you found it interesting, please consider leaving a like or subscribing to my channel. That would be the easiest way to support me for my future endeavors. There are also other ways you can do that. They are all in the description below. Do check them out as well. Check out my other videos. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I would love to try to answer them. Or if I don't know how to answer them, which is a high possibility because I'm also a beginner like you most likely, I will leave your comment pinned so that someone else can swoop in and save the day with their Unreal Engine knowledge. That's all for me. Again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And I'll see you on my next Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video. Until then, have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects. Bye-bye.